All right, we are started, we are here, we are live. Happy fucking Monday. Oh, my, my first attempt at no cussing, I failed. Well, guess what? I'm a failure. Actually, I'm not. I didn't really fucking go for it. There I go again. Second cussing. What the fuck ever? It's not going to be on this live. Maybe it'll be on the next one, okay? Welcome to the State of Mind podcast. It's Monday. I'm very excited to be here. I've had quite a fucking day, okay? You know what it felt like? It felt like the universe used me as a punching bag today, right? It was like, what's up, bitch? You want to you wanna spar right now? Huh? You want to spar? And she was like, Whoops, right? And I was like, oh, shit. Did you see me right now? Right? And I was like, okay, no, 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 probably, probably a miss, right? Oh, it was probably an accident, right? And then she was like, well, bam, right? And I was like, oh, shit, this bitch fucking hit me again, right? So I'm like, okay. I felt like a fucking punching bag from the universe today. But guess what? whatever. You know what I mean? What the fuck ever. Okay. We all have a mind and we all have emotions. And if you're on here, you're watching me, you're a female. Okay. And you do have uh, you do have a, a very negative side of you. All right. And you do have a very positive side of you. Okay, your, your job, you have to start feeding the positive side of you. Because if you feed the negative side of you, you're going you're gonna to just, you're going to be negative. You're going to be nasty, all right? We all have, all have um, each side potential, right? We have the potential to be so fucking great, right? But you also have the potential to be a fucking lazy ass, right? The bum also had a potential. but they choose they chose a different potential now we could say oh this happened to them and that happened to them and all of that all right but i i think we're a little bit more than that okay but and i'm here to remind you of this all right so welcome welcome tonight and uh, let's see i do have a lot of my students on tonight and i want i want to hear from you guys okay i know that you know this life isn't easy as as it isn't for, for anybody. Reserde is on, Marie is on with the cameras. If you girls want to put your cameras on, I would love to see your faces. We got rain red in the house, beautiful hair looking good. And uh, let's see, it's Monday. You're here to feel good. Okay, Valeria, what's up, girl? Click the link in my bio, come over to the actual lecture. Okay, so I'm going to start with and of course, if you have any questions, you can raise your hand or type them and we'll start with questions and maybe I'll go to, into lectures from that, okay? So Tamara, see if you can unmute yourself. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. okay. So you were on, you were on the, the Heart of Courage confident events, uh, confidence event last night. Right. Right. And... I'm going to share this little piece that you had texted me, okay? Because this is going to help. It's going to help all of the students, all right? All right. You had texted me that, that you were nervous to ask a question because you kind of felt like it was a dumb question. Remember that? Yes. Okay. And then I read your question and I said, no, no, no. Fuck that. Ask it anyway, right? And then I read your question and then what did I tell you about your question? That it was very, very good and that I should have more trust in myself and relax and remind myself that I am a student and I don't have all the answers. So it's okay to ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. It was, a, it was actually a really intelligent question. I really liked it. I'm excited to answer it, you know? Um, but I want to teach you girls something about that. Okay. Now, if I didn't press that, then, then, then you wouldn't have grown. You know what I mean? You would have stayed, you would have stayed in your, in your insecurity of, oh, I may, I may look dumb or I may sound dumb or something like that. All right. No. First of all, girls, you're here. If you're my students, I got your back. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to be fucking confident and fucking strong and, a, and a dope ass woman in all aspects. Okay. So whenever you start to feel that Oh, I may, I may uh, sound dumb, or I don't know if if someone is gonna accept me, or that that thing. You know what you gotta tell that thing. You know what you gotta tell that thing. You gotta tell that thing to shut the fuck up. That's your mind. 
keeping you small. Don't let your mind keep you small. Okay, your mind is going to have small thoughts throughout the day. If you at any point today said anything negative about yourself today, that's a small thought. Okay, you don't need to say anything negative about, about yourself. Uh uh. It's not, it's not, it's not necessary. Like Arash has always said, don't ever, don't ever say or, or say or think anything that a hater would think about you. A hater wouldn't want you to, to grow, wouldn't want you to, to, to be positive about yourself, right? Wouldn't want you to say good things about yourself. So fuck that, okay? So anyway, anyway. Ask, ask your questions. You know what I mean? And, and you, you got to tell yourself when it comes to stuff like that, no, you got to take that fuck you attitude. You know what I mean? Fuck you to those small thoughts. I'm going to ask a question. And if I sound dumb, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. You can't even give a fuck around me. I don't live in that world. I'm not, I, no, you're not, you know who I think is dumb? My non-students. If you're my student, you're in a different category. Straight up. Okay, you stepped into you stepped into uh, Godland. You stepped into uh, Paradise Universe. AC the Enchantress. What the fuck is good, girl? West West. Okay, Duchess Babe. What's up, girls? If you want to click the link in my bio, the uh, lecture, the State of Mind podcast is over here. Okay, so Tamara. Yes. Okay. What was your question? Uh, my question. Oh, um, when I'm in settings around other people, I will be responding to what's happening, but responding in my head. Like I'll say something about what's going on in my head yeah. and I'll picture myself doing something in response to what's going on, but it stays inside. And on the outside, I stay quiet and I stay reserved. Yeah. And I don't like having that blockage. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. So one quiet and reserved is sometimes really nice coming from a woman. You know what I mean? So you don't always have to be like you, you go see me on here, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm confident. I'm outgoing. I'm, I'm bold. I, I, all of that, right? You see this energy, but, but this is an energy of, of me teaching. Okay. Now, am I always like this 24 seven? No fucking way. You know what I mean? Am I like this around a rush? No. Right. It's a different energy. Right. Uh, some of my, you know, my assistants that are at, you know, around me now, it's a different when you're my assistant. Cause sometimes I, I'm like, look, you need to focus right now. Okay. This is your list. All right, don't get distracted. Watch your fucking wine intake and let's get this shit done. Ready? And three, two, one, ah, right? <laughs> no, but really, like we get shit done in life, but it's just not always this, okay? So first of all, you need to know it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes it's better not to say anything, all right? So you're not wrong for doing that. Maybe it's better not to say anything, okay? And then two, anything that you wanna get better at, listen to this. Anything that you want to get better at, you start with what can you do? What can you say? So you have a vision of yourself responding a certain way, right? You're like, oh my God, I totally could have said this and that would have been so cool, right? Or I co totally could have, you know, been this way and it would have been totally cool. Okay, well, that, that didn't flow out naturally. But what could, what is something that you could say in that moment? Maybe it's not what you imagine yet, but you'll get there. But you start with what you can do, right? Sometimes, sometimes you're feeling so shitty throughout the day, 
right? And you have this fucking, you have this fucking vision of yourself of, you know, killing it and you just feel like shit, right? Now, what do you do? Well, you start with what can you do to feel a little bit better? Maybe it's not, you know, this, this fucking extravagant plan, but maybe you can put a smile on your face. You just ask yourself, what is the next thing that I can do? Right? So tomorrow you ask yourself, next time you're in that situation, you ask yourself, what is the next thing I can do to make myself more comfortable? Right. Let me, let me relax my shoulders. Maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Or let me talk to somebody that I am comfortable with. Maybe there's somebody in the environment that I am comfortable with. You know, maybe I could just simply start with giving some good energy into the conversation, right? With some, some good acknowledgements, right? Maybe it's not my time to speak yet, but maybe let me, you know, let me smile. Let me give some good energy to, let me give some good vibes that never fails, right? People appreciate good vibes, right? I appreciate it. I love being around people that feel good, you know? And so you start with what can you do? Not that you're failing at this thing that you're setting out to do. What can you do? Right? And you girls can always take this even when it comes to your body. You know what I mean? Like what? You have this big goal of, you know, losing weight. And sometimes that's fucking daunting or even going like, shit, I got to think about my whole work, my whole workout week and everything. No, 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 no. What can I do? I can go for a walk right now for 10 minutes. Let me start with that. Okay, what is the next step? Okay, next step, I'm going to eat a salad instead of that burger. Okay, cool. What is the next step? I'm going to drink water. What is the next step? And next thing you know, next thing you know, you're, you're moving in your rhythm, right? So when it comes to any sort of blockage, you just ask yourself, what is the next step I can do, right? Even as an artist, Sometimes you have, you know, writer's block or you have fucking, you know, singer's block or you have fucking some sort of block. You just ask yourself, what is the next step I can do? You know, or even in relationships, sometimes, you know, you get into an argument and it just fucks shit up, right? And sometimes you're like, how do I even repair this? And you ask yourself, what is the next step I can do? Okay, well, let me send some hearts. Hey, thinking about you, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Or you know what, it's, a, it's all in, this life is done in literally success. The, the, I think it's the Buddha that says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. right? So your, your vision is beautiful. Keep your vision. But the way that you're going to get there, as far as we know, we can't teleport yet, but you can, you can take one foot in front of the other, right? So tomorrow, does that answer it for you? Yeah, yeah. It was very empowering. I love the answer. It just yeah. um, not being so stuck on not being able to do it completely, but just focusing on the next step. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. Just focus on that next step and just, just do it. You know, literally today, I'm going to mute now. I'm going to talk for a little bit. Um, literally today I was just, man, I just was just not feeling good. Right. And I'm always okay with that. I don't, I don't really care, you know, but then I, I apply, I apply what I teach you. I show up here and I teach you about what the fuck I did today that worked. And what I took other people through that worked. We're into what works. Okay. Like at the end of the day, you want, if you're going to work out that your body looks good. Okay. It's not about working out for two months, fucking five months. And, and, and you don't look good. Like th that, that's not what we do. Right. So what we do works. It really fucking works. So anyway, what did I do today? Today, I practiced smiling because I noticed that I was frowning. 
And I was like, why the fuck am I frowning so much? Now, look, I, if, if you can think positive, this is where it's important that you guide your mind. Because even though I was frowning, I was like this, I was proactive about my life. I fucking worked out. I got my shit done. I took care of people. I did everything, but I didn't feel good. Right? But I made sure I had control over my mind because I've been practicing for so long that nothing destructive came out of me being angry. You see that? But then I was like, okay, I'm done being angry. <laughs> All right? Enough is enough. Let's, let's try to change it. So then I practice smiling. You get that? Me, Electra, practiced smiling for five minutes at the gym. I straight up went like this, right? In the beginning, I was like, I don't want to fucking do this right now. I was like, bitch, you're doing this right now, okay? And then I was like, then the, a little bubble came up of happiness. It was like this, right? And I was like, girl. Right? And I was like, Hannah, Hannah's in the house. Hannah just taught a tight core, slim waist workout. It was bomb, okay? You want to make that waistline slim? You let us know. Uh, right? So I practiced smiling. And I realized I had a little bit of, like, resistance, right? When I started to feel good, I was like, Wah! right? No. And then I just kept practicing, and I kept practicing. Next thing I know, I was like, God damn, I see the light again. I feel the sunshine coming out, okay? No more dark caves in here, right? But then you see how, you see how easy it is, literally, to feel bad, and how easy it is to feel good. You just, you literally have to exert some self-discipline. Right? This life takes discipline. Happiness takes discipline. A beautiful body takes discipline. A good attitude takes discipline. You can't just, you can't just act out of shitty emotions. You're not going to have a good life like that. Okay? You're not. If you think that, if you think that that if you keep putting bad out, you're going to get good back. It doesn't work like that. There is a such thing as karma. And some of us have fucking instant karma. Right? Like, especially, especially like if you, if you start to know, if you start to know these teachings and you apply this shit, you have a power in your hands now. You're no longer a regular individual. Don't fucking take your light, lightsabers and start fucking chopping at people because next thing you know, your fucking lightsaber turns at you and you're just fucking cutting yourself up. Okay? You're taking your lightsaber to, today and you're just freaking slicing and dicing. That's what I felt like I was doing today. All of a sudden, my lightsaber was like, I'm like, bitch, I'm not the target. Fucking A, right? Why am I at war with myself? What the fuck? Right? What the fuck? I don't want to hurt people so much that now I'm hurting myself. Okay? Like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be in conflict. I don't want to be at war. Okay? Let let war be with, with somebody that really deserves it, right? Not, not people that don't deserve it, and for sure not your goddamn self, okay? Your, your mind is at war all day, and your mind is at war with your fucking emotions. The fuck? And then at some point, I was like, I'm getting bullied by my emotions. No, fuck you, bitches. That's it. That's fucking it. I'm not playing anymore. Right? And I freaking cracked my knuckles. I was like, okay, let's go. You're, th these emotions are not fucking with me anymore. Bitch, you're going to smile until you feel good. Okay? And I smile for five minutes straight. I'm not, I'm not joking you, okay? I'm not just saying five minutes and I did it for one. No, 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 no. 
I did it. I didn't feel like it. And I did it again. And I didn't feel like it. And then I did it again. Next thing I know, it's stuck. Right? That's called your will. Right? You have to be able to override, override the, the desire to stuff your face. Don't stuff your face. Okay? If you want to eat pizza and you want a slim waistline, don't eat pizza. Wait it the fuck out, okay? Wait it the fuck out. Give it five minutes. Give it ten minutes. Don't eat the pizza. Don't give in. You can't give in to what the body tells you or else you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. The girls that I went to high school with, Okay, we had a crew, right? You know, it was a fucking crew. We were the cheerleaders with the brown hair, with the fucking, you know, pretty popular, meh, 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 meh. Okay, well, guess what? They are fat. <laughs> they, I don't know what happened to them, all right? But we're all aging, okay? And at some point, you got to freaking, you got to fucking... You got to smack that line in and you got to go, no, enough is enough. I'm going to control what goes into my mouth. Okay. That's it. So self-discipline, that's what I was talking about. Okay. Self-discipline is, is so vital. You need to be able to be disciplined when it comes to your food. You can't just eat whatever you want. It doesn't work like that. Right? You can't just take your lightsaber and cut at everybody and think that you're going to be happy. You can't take your lightsaber and fucking cut it yourself and think that, that you're going to feel good. You see that? So, we've got to find some inner peace. All right? Smoke your peace pipe. I'm your peace pipe tonight. All right? I'm your peace reminder. Okay, what else? Is there any questions? I want I want questions. Here, Natalia. Let's chat. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Um, yeah, I guess you helped me a man with a lot today, and I'm still just floored. So, I mean, to follow up what we talked about and to share with everyone else, I'm just wondering how um, how to be kind every day to yourself. Yeah, how to be kind every day to yourself. Okay. That's a good question. Let me see how to answer this. How to be kind to yourself. Okay, the first thing that before we get to being kind to yourself, before we get there, okay, you need to know something that what well, I, I, w I want you to really answer this for yourself. When you feel good, when you feel good, are you kind to yourself? You know, I don't think I'm kind to myself. I think I'm running on the emotions of happiness. Okay. So, mm -hmm. but, but you're definitely not destroying yourself in those moments, right? Whether you're running on emotions or not, you're... Oh, totally, yes. Right, you're, you're not you're not hurting yourself in those times, right? No, it's happy, it's joy, it's great. Okay, so so much, so much, has to do with the way that we feel, right? Until we transcend emotions, and is it possible? Yes, right. I mean. If, if that's what you want to practice is not having any effect, you know, your emotions having any effect on your life, then, then absolutely. You know what I mean? And I, and, and, you know, get onto my programs. I teach this at the higher levels. Okay. But so much is based off of our emotions. Like when you don't feel good, you don't act good. You're not fun to be around. You're not fun to talk to. Like, if you don't feel good, you're not fun to talk to. You're not fun to hang out with. You're not fun to come home to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right? Like, it's just not fun to be around somebody when they're not feeling good. Straight up. Basic. Basic shit. 
right? And on the reverse side, on the flip side, when you feel really good, shit, life is a party. You know what I mean? Fuck, like you want to work out, you want to clean. You're like, you want your girlfriends to come over, you want to talk, right? So, so, so much is based off of, of, of literally like, look, if you're happy and you feel good, then you're kind to yourself and you're kind to other people. The bad actions, when the last time somebody raped, murdered, killed, was mean, um, flipped you off in the car, right? Honked at you hella hard. Okay, look, I should teach honking etiquette, okay? There's a way to honk, all right? You holding your horn down and being all fucking pissed off is rude, all right? A honk is done like this. You want to go like this. Right? Or just like, you want to hit that thing. Just like, hit it, pull back. Okay? It's just like, boom, right? That's like a little like, hey, yo, watch your space. Okay? Like, that's what a horn is for. Don't fucking hold your horn down. All right? Don't hold your horn down at me. Okay? That long? Are you serious? Get the fuck over it, right? Work on yourself. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so you need to know what makes you feel good. Like you need to be able to, the, to, you need to be the first one that can raise your happiness level. Right? And you gotta have this meter inside of you that, that like you gotta have this, little check like you gotta check in how what's going on right now right and and if at any point on the under other end of that is is you is you pointing a finger saying it's because of somebody else then then you've lost your 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 power right? Because then you're saying that situation, that person has more power over me than my own ability to, to create some happiness. Now, if you, if you can't settle your own soul, if you can't, if you can't create love within yourself, if you can't create a sense of um, happiness within yourself and you expect somebody else to try to fucking dig into your cobwebs and try to find out what makes you happy, but you don't even know. You, you expect somebody else to, to, to somehow find, find the, the good parts of you when you don't even fucking let them out. Right? It's just, it's, it doesn't work like that. So, you know, Arash has always said, and he's always taught me, whatever it is that you want in life, whatever it is that you seek, you have to be the source point for it. Like, if you want more love in your life, then you be the start of it. You wake up in the morning and you tell yourself, I will greet this day with love in my heart. Next time you're going to get into an, uh, let's say you got to go handle something or you know that the conversation is going to be upsetting or you know that even like work is going to be upsetting or whatever the fuck, right? Tell yourself this. See if you can remember and remind yourself and you tell yourself. I will greet this day with love in my heart. Or I will greet this person with love in my heart. Something changes. It makes it definitely way easier. Right? And you're powerful when you're, when you're loving. Okay? People who box, boxers always know you want, and, and fighters, Always know you want your opponent to be emotional. 
because then they're weak. They're so they're caught up, right? Reactive. You want to be you want to be the fighter that that is expansive. Fucking emotions can come and go, but but you're here. You're in the dance, right? You want to dance with. You want to be in harmony with life. Okay. And I know it kind of took it off topic, all right? But you have to know how to make your own, own soul happy first. Every single day. And it's a new day, right? So what made you, what worked yesterday may not work today. That's okay. Right? It's like same thing. You listen to a song, right? We all have favorite songs. And sometimes, oh my gosh, I don't know if you, if you guys do this, but sometimes I listen to a song if I like it on repeat, right? That thing is on again and again and again and again. And I, and like, it doesn't lose its vibe. I'm like, oh my God, let me hear it again. You know what I mean? Right? I have a song like that right now, right? And, but then, okay. Two weeks, two weeks down the line, I listen to the song and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I don't even like this song, right? So that's, that's just the way that it is. That's just the way it is. Um, it's just the way that it is, okay? But every day, that's your, that's one of your, that's one of your like, one of your things that you do, you know how you go to work and you fucking brush your teeth? Well, you, you come up with ways to really enjoy your day with whatever life is presenting you. With whatever card. That was my stomach. No, I'm just kidding. That was totem. I don't know if you guys heard that. He's like, Rawr. um, whatever cards you're given, you want to find a way to still enjoy your life. You know what I mean? You want to find a way to still enjoy your moments, right? And, and we're, we're making bigger problems for ourselves than needed. You need to know this. You're creating more upset for yourself than you need to. You know what I mean? You just don't, you don't have to put yourself in hell like that. You know what I mean? You, paradise is all around you. Paradise is created in your mind. Like practice gratefulness straight up. Like as a practice, if I had, if I had a little girl, you know what she would do every single day, we would go for a walk and I would have her practice every single day list all of the things that you're grateful for say them i know that you already know but then after a little while you're like wow i have an incredible life i didn't realize that i didn't notice it right because i was thinking about other things i was thinking about my problems right and of course there's always things that we can that we can be sad about or be angry about, right? We can all find something right here, right now, okay? But we can also all find something that we can feel really good about right now, right? We can all find something right here, right now that we can be genuinely grateful for, right? In this moment, we can find something to be grateful for. You know, so the goal is to have more of these moments and less of the other ones. You know, more, more happy moments, less of the, the um, bad moments. Okay, I'm going to answer a question on here. Oh, I've got to straighten my legs really quick. Shit. Okay, let's see. Belle says, hey, Electra, I have a question in regards to your skincare routine. You mentioned previously that Arash has never seen you without makeup on. My man has similar expectations of me. However, I'm still 18, so I always break out and I have dry, prone skin. 
You always look flawless. Do you sleep in makeup? If so, if your experience, if so, from your experience, what would you recommend as a nighttime makeup routine? Okay, very good question. So when I say that Arash hasn't seen me without makeup, I wipe off my skin, like my skin, but I keep my eyes on. So he's, you know, seen me like with my eyes on, right? But I wash my face off because I, you shouldn't sleep with your makeup on overnight. Fa like face makeup, don't sleep with your makeup on. Okay. So if, you know, and, and, you know, relationships change as you move forward. Okay. In the beginning, literally, well, in the beginning, I mean, for the first fucking 10 years, literally, I would turn off the lights, like, okay, okay, you in bed now, contacts are off, okay, hold on, I'll be right back, lights go off, wash my face off, go back into bed, right, like, that's how, how sincerely I took this, you know, but then I was like, okay, I have good skin. I can take my face makeup off. It's all good, right? But you do want your skin to breathe, okay? And then you want to find, like, I like to use natural products, you know? So coconut oil, Vaseline is really good for your face. Um, you can make, like, there's different, if you, if you look up do-it-yourself masks or, like, sleep masks, right? And also, Jess has really turned me on to different masks. Like, some days we do, you know, five masks in a row. And there's sleep masks too that are clear that really help hydrate your skin. So skincare is really key. I've never really been into it, um, but now that you know this this physical form is getting older, I'm like, okay, you know, I don't I don't want wrinkles. I I want you know the tightest skin that I can have. So I take I take my skincare a little bit more sincerely. So I always cleanse and moisturize, and then you know, uh, you know, do masks from time to time. So you got to find what works for your skin for sure. And I like to use natural and then always you like drink a lot of water. What you put into your body makes a difference. So the cleaner your system is, the better your skin is going to be. So eat good. Okay. If you eat oily foods, if you eat sugars, it's going to come out in your skin too. Okay, what else? Keep it coming. How do you carry yourself in public so that strangers don't get the wrong idea? Um, you know, strangers get the wrong idea. I can't help I can't help that, okay? Like where where were the where where were we the other day? Hold on. Where hold on, what the fuck? Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. So women, okay, the words are going to talk about women, all right? Women got problems, okay? They got problems. They got problems with themselves, all right? Now, even if I were to try to be so perfect with a smile on my face and warm and pleasant, okay, they're probably still going to have a problem with me, all right? I'm either too pretty, too, too much makeup, too happy, too um, intimidating, too this, too that, too tall, too short, too skinny, too toned, too, too fucking something. They're going to find a two and put something on the other side of it. Okay. So when it comes to strangers, y'all can go shut the fuck up. Cause you don't know me and you're basing it off of your shit. Okay. So you need to know that that's the IMC nation philosophy. All right. The IMC nation philosophy is the fuck you philosophy. All right. We don't give a fuck what you think about us. Okay. We don't give a fuck what you think about us. You didn't fucking put, you didn't put uh, food on my table. You didn't fucking put money in my account. All right. So your opinion doesn't matter. Okay. Now, how can you be a little bit more um, pleasant? is I can teach you how to do that, okay? Because you do want to be pleasant, all right? I used to be very intimidating, and maybe I still am. I don't know. I don't care. But I know because Arash has worked on that with me, right? Like, I'm like, what's up? Not even on purpose. I'm just like a serious bitch. Like, I'm fucking, I got, I got life to handle. I got people to help. I'm thinking about, you know, um, how to find more 
you know, expansiveness, more spirituality. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Like I'm like deep in thought most of the time, right? Or no thought. So anyway, right? You want to, you want to have a pleasant, a pleasant vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. You want to have a pleasant vibe, right? You want to feel good and let that, let that come out. Okay. But you have to be able to also know that some people are going to still have a problem. It's just the way that the cookie crumbles. Okay. Because you want to know why? Because they probably don't feel good. Because somebody that feels good vibes with somebody that feels good. Right? We're like, hey, hey. Okay. But it's literally, the, you're on different vibrations. Okay, but it's always nice to be around somebody that's pleasant and polite when it comes to public. Okay, be pleasant, be polite. You know, um, have, a, have a light, you know, genuine smile on your face. Not overdoing it, because that's weird, right? You look funky, okay? But, you know, genuinely, like, feel good and let that come out in your face, right? You can, you know, uh, you want to soften your face instead of being so hard, you know, you can soften it a little bit. And that's, that's a more pleasant, you know, even as I'm smiling right now, even though you're aware of it and I'm talking about it, it, it has an effect on you, right? It even has an effect on me. I feel different when I do it. Okay. And that's also something that you, you can use if you're in sales is, or if you're talking on the phone to somebody, smile as you're talking and they feel better. They feel it, right? So in a social scenario, if you, can, if you can put a light smile on your face, you're going to demonstrate that you're winning, right? Winners smile. Losers don't smile. Winners smile, right? When you're winning, you smile. So smile, bitch. Okay, how do I protect myself from strange men in public? Well, we're talking, we're, well, there's levels of protection, okay? And, you know, you absolutely need to, all right? One, you have to know what are you, what are you displaying? What is, your, what, is your, what is your clothes communicating? How is your body language communicating, right? How close are you to them, okay? And then as a woman, as a woman, you have to be able to hold your space, right? And you have to be able to fucking say no and put up your boundaries. So, you know, we don't talk to, we don't talk to men. No, no, no. No, they, they don't, they don't, they don't come into our world at all, right? It's like a different world. But if you talk to men, then that's already an entrance right? The a communication line, you connect like that. So put up your boundaries, know what your boundaries are. Excuse me. Don't get that close. Thank you. Excuse me. You're too close. Please back up. You can start like that. Okay. If someone's pressing on you, then you can raise it if you need to. And then always as a woman, if you, right, if you speak up, other people will protect you, right? That's why you have to use your voice, use your voice. But in a, in a threatening situation, sometimes the voice goes in, right? Like if you've ever been attacked, like, you know, the voice doesn't come out, okay? But that's where, where you practice. And I used to teach self-defense to women, like straight up self-defense. Some, some of you girls have been to it right? How to defend yourself. Like you need to know how to defend yourself straight up. Like you need to know that you can use your elbows. You need to know that you can use your palm. You need to know that you can use your knee, right? And you need to have, have know what that feels like because then you have a different presence around you. I will fuck someone up if they fucking touch me. I swear to fucking God. Right? Like, on another level, I, will, I you know what I mean? That doesn't mean I won't die in the process or anything like that, but 
you're going to know if you attacked me. You're going to fucking know that you don't, you don't, you don't fuck around with the lioness. Right? You don't do that. So maybe at some point I'll teach you girls. We'll do like a self-defense, you know, seminar workshop. That'll be fun. Yeah. And you can even do it online. You know what I mean? Get like a, get a partner. It'll be easier to do it like that. But yeah, that's a good idea because you, you do need to know how to defend yourself. It's not a kind world out there. You know what I mean? So you do need to know some actual techniques to defend yourself. Okay. Let's see. It's 856. I'll take one more question. And then we done. If there's anything. Kate, Mallory, Maria still on. Marie, did you work out with us tonight? You did? Oh, hell yeah. Good. Okay. Um, was there a hand raised? Did I catch one? No? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. All good. Let's see. Today is Monday night. And I'm going to start going live a little bit more, okay? Um, either in the morning or at night, I'll figure it out, all right? Uh, if, if you girls missed Heart of Courage Part 2 that I did last night, you can still get it, okay? You let me know. It's only 97. And then on July 15th, okay, do whatever you got to do. Don't eat, save your money, borrow money, figure it out, get the new product that's coming out. It's called Perfectly Imperfect, okay? It's going to change your life. It's going to freaking just, uh, it's going to, it's going to transform some shit inside of you, all right? You definitely need to have more of this feminine energy in you, okay? You got to have a balance of the, the male and female energy. Every, every species has this, all right? And I'm going to teach you how to have this more in your life, okay? So July 15th, Perfectly Imperfect is going to be super powerful, all right? So thank you all for joining me tonight. This was a pleasure. This was fun, okay? This IMC Nation, if you enjoyed this, go ahead, do a little shout out on Instagram. It's all good, all right? See what haters come up. Oh, you watch her? Oh, 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 you guys wear too much makeup. Oh, yeah, is that what you think, huh? We don't care. All right. Okay. This is IMC Nation. Like Rashi Bazaar always says, be the best and fuck the rest. Okay. Keep killing it. Keep shining. Don't listen to the birds. Okay. Don't listen to your negative mind because the birds got into your negative mind. Okay. And then you have to rule your emotions. Okay. Don't let those things bitch slap you all day. Right. You got to bitch slap your emotions. Wake up like a fucking, like a fucking lightning bolt is inside of you. Okay. That's me. I'm your lightning bolt. So whenever you think about me, you can feel better and you can have energy and you could be reminded that you're fucking great and don't apologize for your greatness. Show your greatness. You're here to demonstrate your godliness through this physical form. Demonstrate your godliness through all the fucking bullshit, right? Demonstrate how incredible that, how incredible you really are through the shit the world gave you. You know what I mean? The world has handed us shit after shit after shit after shit, okay? And what do we do? We show the world that we're still diamonds and we're still gems and we're still flowers and we will not be tarnished. We won't. Maybe a little bit bent, but we ain't broken. We don't break. We don't break. We're IMC Nation, we're fucking unbreakable, okay? So remember, what makes you unbreakable? Tap into this right now, and don't apologize for, for killing it in life, okay? I'll see you girls soon, right? Get on mentorship program. Get on success program.